Corey Leeson has been farming for 30 years at Radisson, roughly 60 kilometers northwest of Saskatoon. Leeson says prices for seeds, herbicides, fertilizers and fuel have significantly increased. For his nitrogen fertilizer, he paid $400 a ton last year. This year we paid $800 a ton and currently it's sitting at around $1,200 or so. So that's the sort of you know, a threefold increase from, from what we grew last year's crop with. So it, it's a very significant increase. Leeson's fuel costs have also doubled. He says seed prices have increased too. It is likely around double or so what it was uh, the year before as well. So seed is, is also an issue. I think there's, there is some supply issues around seed and particularly barley seed because the last season was so dry. Statistics Canada data shows overall production of crops like wheat, canola, barley was much lower last year than the previous three. But there are also other problems, according to the Agricultural Producers Association of Saskatchewan. I think there's also access to parts and the availability of parts has some producers concerned as we go into our busiest season, right? Like if my tractor breaks down, am I going to be able to get the parts to fix it? I think that's a concern. Labor is always a concern in agriculture. And the Western Canadian Wheat Growers Association says 2023 will be the real critical year. So 2022 is going to be a lot more riskier than what 2021 was just because of the whole cost structure that we're under. But, but the way it's shaping up that 2023 could be, could be a, a much more extreme risk year. From rising input costs to supply shortages to the fear of dry conditions, it's all taking a toll on producers' mental health. But advocates say they're not alone. Really uh, working to encourage those conversations for farmers to reach out and talk about, um, you know, what, what keeps them up at night. And I know many um, are, the, the prices are keeping them up at night. But Kelly also says farmers are optimistic people. And despite this growing season being a cause for concern, many are still filled with hope. Pratish Tayal, CBC News, Radisson.